When the wolf started sniffing garbage bags in the woods, her human friends thought she might have found something special. When she tore open the garbage bag, a loud cry broke out, which scared the man to jump back. Adrian and his wife Lily live on the outskirts of a small town in Wyoming. He is a skilled hunter and likes hunting in the woods very much. Although he had a house in the city, he also made a shed in the woods, and lived there before the sun went down on the days of hunting relaxation. Adrian's father was also a hunter, and he passed on his love for this profession to him. He spent most of his life learning from his father, and with his own hunting experience, the young man learned how to be self-sufficient in the wild. It was a decisive day, and the young hunter went out as usual. The sky is bright, accompanied by a sweet breeze, it was a good day for hunting, at least that's what he thought. Adrian searched for prey all day, but he found nothing. The young man was determined to leave with something, so he walked straight into the depths of the forest. Finally, he caught something. He was exhausted, and at the same time glad to catch something for supper, so he turned and went home. At that moment, he realized that he was lost. To make matters worse, it gets dark quickly. As a man who knew the forest, he knew that it might take him some time to find his way, and even if he did, it would take him longer to go home. And this time is just enough for him to become food for beasts. He needs to change the road to the shelter, and he needs to speed up. Although he is skilled, it is mainly because he is familiar with the woods. It still took him hours to find his way to the shelter. When he arrived, it was already dark, so he made a fire and sat there. That night, he was always vigilant in case any wild animals came to sniff. Just after midnight, Adrian heard a faint howl. He was so familiar with the voice that, in fact, he was afraid of it. That's a wolf howling, and it's very close. After a while he heard another howl, this time followed by a heart-wrenching sob. The huntsman feared for his own safety, so he stayed where he was and did not make a move. But at the same time, he was very interested in the voices he heard. The sobs continued. Finally, he could not ignore it any longer, so he went out of the shelter and began to look for the source of the sound. After walking a few steps, he found something making a sound under the bushes. There lay a little wolf pup, left alone before him. The hunter saw that the wolf pup was weak and hungry, and knew that it could not live in the wild. Out of compassion and responsibility for the helpless animal, the hunter decided to rescue the cub and take care of it. He took the little wolf back to his residence and shared his dinner with it. From the next day, he went to the woods every day. He waited for a while before taking the pup home and introducing it to his wife Lily. Lily was afraid to see wild animals at home and strongly opposed to leaving them at home. However, after many persuasions from Adrian, she let the wolf stay. She said that once it was big enough to survive on its own, she would throw it away. But it took her only a few days to become the best company with this friendly cub. As time went by, Adrian and the female wolf established a strong connection. The hunter continued to take care of her, teaching her how to hunt and survive in the wild. As the cub grew up, she began to accompany him to go hunting, and they became a pair of capable partners. As time went by, the pup grew into a strong wolf, but she never betrayed the hunter who saved her as a child. She remained loyal to the hunters, and they continued to hunt together as partners. He took the wolf home several times, and Lily was always happy to have the wolf around. They are a happy little family. They did not know that their lives would soon be intertwined with another family, a much happier one. On the other side of town is a young woman named Emma. She lives with an uncle who doesn't love her and thinks she is a burden. He often yelled at her, forced her to follow him in cleaning, and took all the money she earned from her work to buy things for herself. Emma hates spending time at home, so she always finds solace in the local bistro, where she often stays with her friends. But her relationship with one of them soon became more than that. They're together. But a few months later, she realized that she had jumped into the fire from outside the oil pan. He was not as sweet as she thought, 
and she knew that life with him would be as bad as it would be for her and her uncle. However, she is living with him now, and she is very uncomfortable. She was in big trouble and needed a clever plan to get out of it. At this time, she didn't know that Adrian and his mother Wolf would be the answer to all her prayers. Meanwhile, Adrian and his companion still hunt and do everything together. One day, the two were on one of their hunting trips. With their combined skills, they were able to complete some hunts in record time. On their way home, something strange happened. The wolf suddenly ran away and did not look back as Adrian called her. He was curious about this strange behavior, so when the wolf hurried away, he immediately followed the animal. It was very cold and it was getting dark that day. The wolf is running towards the edge of the forest, but it is in the opposite direction to Adrian's home. Tired hunters are not in the mood to play games with animals. He kept shouting in the hope that the wolf would stop, but the wolf completely ignored him. She just stopped suddenly in front of a garbage bag. The hunter was surprised to find out what had caught her attention, and wondered what had drawn the wolf into the bag. Is there anything special in it? He is right, he will find out soon. The wolf always behaves strangely. She carefully tore open the garbage bag and began to smell the contents, blocking Adrian with her body. Suddenly, the bag began to move, and the huntsman almost jumped up with fear. After being frightened, he hurried forward to check, and they opened the contents of the bag together. In the bag is not actually dirt, but old clothes and rags. However, these are not as interesting as the living creatures writhing among them. A beautiful little baby lay in the garbage dump and began to cry as soon as it appeared. Adrian was startled to see her and immediately began to look around for her parents, but there seemed to be no one else around. The hunter was surprised that the wolf heard the baby's voice from so far away. He wondered if her maternal instinct had brought her to him. He patted the wolf's head gently to show comfort. When Adrian looked at the baby, he felt that he urgently needed to help her. He took her in his arms and went home with the wolf. They don't know that the child is Emma's son. She was pregnant, but afraid to tell her uncle the news, she decided to leave the child in a place where she knew someone would find him. Thankfully, Adrian soon found her. The hunter and his wife ensure the baby's safety and take care of it all night, providing it with warmth and food. The next morning, they try to find the parents or any other family members who may be looking for the baby. When they couldn't find anyone, they decided to adopt him by themselves. They named him Jack and took care of him like their own children. The story of the mother wolf saving a baby spread like wildfire, and soon Adrian, a furry friend, became a legend in their town.